Pablo. Yeah, Ken, first, just wanted just to ask, just, you know, obviously Chris being out right now, what's that been like for you? And second, if he's not able to start the series, obviously you would be starting the series at point guard. Just how are you handling all those emotions and, and, and everything that goes with that? Uh, I'm just I'm just getting ready, like any other series, uh, just being ready to plug in my name's call. Uh, and on the other side, I'm just, I mean, if I get that opportunity, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure I'm ready. Next up is going to be Kellen Olsen with Arizona Sports, followed by Gina Mizell. Hey, Cam, I want to ask you about Etuan Moore, just how much it's helped to have a veteran like that in the locker room all year and, and that type of guy that you know as a teammate you can rely on in, in situations to stay ready. Uh, he's He's been he's been huge. He's big time. That, that's, that's crazy. That's what I see next to uh, every day in, uh, in film. Uh, we talk about things in the game all the time. Uh, he really my bench. Uh, he sit beside me on the bench as well. He talks to me during the game, just saying little things. Uh, that he be talking about during the game. But, I mean, it's cool to have him out there. He's always ready. That's one thing about he He, he stays ready. Uh, we actually just played uh, out there today, and he was killing us today. Um, it's just it's just cool to have a vet have a out there that's been through it, seen it, and still currently doing it at a high level. Um, he, he knows so much about the game. He, he's out there to compete every day. I know he want to be on the court, uh, so he stays ready. Next up is Gina Mizell with Suns.com, followed by Samaria Terry. Hey, Cam, uh, to kind of go off of Kellen's question, just when there are those vets that are maybe not in the rotation right now that um, that are still engaged, that are ready when they're called upon, all that stuff you just mentioned, guys like Etwan or Langston or, or JC, just how valuable has that been to you guys in, in the playoff run, just knowing that, number one, those guys are ready, but also, number two, that they're not going to – um, complain about their role or, or just, you know, things like that, that they're engaged and still supportive of, of just where the team is at right now? Uh, well, that's just, honestly, that's just signs of a great team, uh, signs of a championship team. Uh, just one, one, one thing is just like they, they've been there and, and, and that's more, more of the, you know, like the thought of it, like the things they've been through, their experiences, like for them to be like, man, we ain't done nothing yet. It's, it's still a next series, and like like you say, like we we kind of young as well, and some people ain't been in these situations. It's just it's, it's a blessing to have those guys out there that's uh, that has more knowledge than us. Uh, I don't talk. I talked about it earlier uh, about learning and being being able to take it in, and that's one thing the young guys are doing, me me included, and like handling things on the court, things that get up here, they always hear cool boys. And it's helpful to talk to them because uh, you could they could be mad. They could not say anything. Uh, but we got so many good guys, man. Everything is about winning. And um, sometimes everybody don't get the opportunity. So it's, it's cool to still hear their voice, still have them there locked in as if they was playing. And uh, it's just a blessing to have those kind of guys uh, on the team as well. Has there been anything that either Etwan or Langston or somebody like that is – has shared with you at some point this season that's particularly resonated or, or helped you at some point? With me personally, before every game, each one come and tell me, man, they, you, you good, Cam. Go out there and play. You good. Uh, they, they they can't hold you. They can't stop you. Man. Just little stuff like that because I'm pretty sure he wants to play. And for him to come out and say stuff like that every game, like you don't, you don't, you don't get guys like that in the NBA all the time. So it's just a blessing to have you. Yeah, Next up is Samaria Terry with WREG in Memphis, followed by Nick King. Yeah, hey, Cam, like he just said, I'm from Memphis. Of course, we have been rooting for you here, um, back home for you. I have two questions for you. One, just throughout your career in the NBA, what has just motivated you not to give up and just to continue to, to get to this moment and then to be in this moment preparing for the Western Conference Finals? How is that and what is that moment like for you? Oh, uh, well... For the first question, uh, being in the NBA was a dream. It's a dream for me. So I can't, I can't, I can't preach to people and tell them, you know, uh, shoot for your dreams. If I give up, I, I, I'm never gonna give up. So that's why I work hard every day. I'm, I'm gonna keep trying to be where I want to be. Uh, and if it's the NBA, that's what I'm coming to do. So I'm coming to work my tail off every day. 
every day, off day, uh, work day, it don't matter uh, because someone else is getting better while I'm chilling. Uh, so I try my best to stay in the gym, stay active as much as I can uh, because it can be gone. It can be gone, snap a finger, it can be gone. Uh, so I, I work hard to keep my dream alive. And uh, I just do it every day. And what was the second part of your question? I apologize. Oh, what is this moment like for you just to, to be in this moment to prepare for the Western Conference Finals? Oh, it's huge. This is crazy. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, it's really crazy. The Western Conference Finals, we just four oh. It's like this, it's, this type of stuff don't happen every day. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm in, enjoying it to the max. Locked in, uh, getting ready for it, uh, just to try to make you know, some sweet, even sweeter. Final two questions are going to be Nick King with Channel 3, Channel 5, and Catherine Fitzgerald. Cam, I am sure that at some point you saw the video of the Sons and Four dude, the fan in Denver, that uh, it sounds like Devin reached out to and is, is getting him to come to a, a conference finals game. Just wondering in general what you made of that video and how much you guys have talked about it as a team, how much you laughed about it. Uh, we talk about it a little bit. We talk about it a little bit because um, it was it, it kind of happened during the game, and we kind of seen it because it was a dead ball, and we and we really didn't know what was going on. And in the locker room, we seen what happened. It was kind of crazy. Uh, nobody should be fighting in the stands, man. It's 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 crazy, but you know it was a Suns fan, so we support them. But we got to be mindful of things like that. Everybody just come needs to come watch the game and have fun at the games. That's what it's about. But I mean, I heard you coming to the game. That's 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 cool. I'm glad glad book reached out. Uh, but man, everybody just need to have fun at the games, man. Uh, we out there having fun, so they should too. Final question is Catherine Fitzgerald with the Arizona Republic. Hey Cam, when you talk about you know seeing those moments when fans are having fun, the kid with the shirt off on the jumbo trial the other night too. There's all these examples in the arena, but then in the city too, of how excited everyone is for y'all right now. And I'm wondering what it's like to see that, not just kind of in this moment of the playoffs, but after the last year of like, things have been so hard on people to have them celebrating y'all specifically. I'm glad, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're, we're doing well because we're bringing joy to the city in such a downtime. It's, it's a blessing. Um, it's a blessing because, man, sometimes you, you look over COVID and like, man, the sun's doing well. We rocking. And, and, and that's how I feel in the, in the arena. It's like, man, all that stuff is whatever. From 7 to 10, it's Phoenix Suns time. And everybody locked in on it. It's just it's, it's crazy to see how the world kind of getting back to normal. Um, but, but, man, I'm, I'm glad for the city, man. The Suns, we, we, we bring some happiness to people's faces. And I'm glad we're able to do that. Cause there's so many fans here that have been waiting for this opportunity. And um, I'm just I'm just glad it's, it, it came at this point in time during COVID because man, you, you got something to wake up to. It's something to smile about. It's, it's not a draggy day. Um, you get to come out and watch the Suns play, watch watch us on TV, and we still one of the top four teams left. So that's great. Thanks for the time, Cam. Thank y'all. Appreciate it.